Okay, hey people. Um, today, I'd just like to uh, run through a few um, techniques for um, the Bogota rake. Um, I'll start out with showing you the difference. Here's a couple of manufactured ones. Um, uh, you can see they're very, very thin and very flimsy, and you, you have to be incredibly gentle with them or they will bend and break. Whereas the ones that I make are very strong, thick, and will hold up for a good long time. <clears throat> At any rate, uh, the first method that I like to uh, try on just about all locks, um, it's generally the first approach, is to gently scrub the pins. So that's just a, a straight in and out motion, just gently uh, scrubbing the pins. So it's just basically a sawing motion, a uh, sawing sort of jiggling motion and uh, that generally will will work on on many many locks <clears throat> um, especially those with no securities and high tolerances as well <clears throat> um, in other circumstances um, it's necessary to emulate the shape of a key and because you do not know the shape the shape of the key is unknown you have to test various uh, um, various techniques to emulate the actual bitting of the key so I like to start raking flat this way and then I slowly angle the rake up and I test through that range of rakes. And then I do it with the other way. I slowly angle the rake this way. And it enables you to get a feel for what motions set pins and what motions don't. And with a bit of experience, you'll start to feel which ones work and which ones don't. Now, another technique that I like to use to emulate a key and to find the pattern of that key quite quickly is to go through these range of motions rather quickly um, by rotating. Basically, you're dipping the pick in and you're rotating it and as you rotate, you are angling it. So you, you're you going an in and out motion and slowly angling it up this way as you draw out and also slowly angling it up this way. This enables you to test and see which motions tend to bind pins and which don't. <clears throat> Also, another technique is um, the reciprocating. You, you dive in, but all your, all your forceful motion is on the extraction of the pick. When you're pushing it in, you're basically just inserting it gently to reach the back of the keyway so you hit all the pins. And then when you pull it out is where you apply the force. And there we go. Done. <clears throat> So, um, above practice and experience, uh, there's not a whole hell of a lot more I can tell you about the Bogota, except for um, some things not to do. Um, definitely, if you're using a scrubbing motion, um, be careful not to bend. Um, also, never pry like a hook with the uh, 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 Bogota rake because uh, one of its weaker spots is uh, <clears throat> right here and um, 
there have been the odd person here or there to break one. It's fairly rare in occurrence, and it usually only happens due to misuse. So again, we'll run through those uh, techniques. Uh, the first one is just very, very gently scrubbing the pins and angling this way and angling that way very, very gently. And then the next one is raking it out and then also varying the angle as you draw it out both ways. And then the third is the circular. Think of it as a spiral graph whereas you want to hit all the various angles that you could possibly emulate and um, basically through a very quick process of trial and error you can find which pins <coughs> bind which don't you may have to uh, you may have to do a little raking shake the lock a little bit see which pins are sticking and which aren't and then go in with a short hook and SPP the final couple of pins but generally speaking <coughs> it's unnecessary um, I'll just do this one here one more time just for another quick demo. Okay, and another demo of the uh, scrubbing, just seeing as we, we have time. Um, you want to use very light tension when you're doing the, the light scrubbing, and you want to use pulsing tension when you're using the other techniques. There we go. Okay, so uh, that's your primer on uh, the custom Bogota rake. Uh, don't even attempt these methods uh, with these because you'll just break them. Um, <sighs> You, I suppose you could, uh, you could practice, but you're going to end up with broken tools. Um, but yeah, for those of you who do have this uh, custom Bogota, that's pretty much it. That's pretty much all there is to know. Just run through those uh, basic movements, and you'll get better and better at them. And uh, as you do, you'll find that this is one of the most indispensable picks that you can own. Uh, this this particular pick has opened more locks for me than any other pick and probably all other picks combined. So uh, don't use this uh, information for legal purposes. Peace. Uh, have fun and uh, <clears throat> if you're looking for lock picking tools uh, at a reasonable price go to uklockpickers.co.uk and also check out uh, www.keypicking.com